Tugging war. Tugging war. Okay, one people in giving. What was the other one? Okay, so you could give each other flowers, but Nate was giving Courtney flowers. Is that reciprocal? No, because she's not giving me flowers back. Hugging is reciprocal, right? You can hug each other. Kissing is. Can you hug someone now and then I'm not hugging back? Yes. Right, so it's definitely not reciprocal. So, what we talked about before, reciprocal actions look a lot like the kind of verb. Uh, not IP is uh, reflexive. Uh, reflexive, right? So our reflexive pronouns are may they say, knows, knows, say. Perfect. So these are reflexive pronouns. If we're talking about reflexive, can you use may with a reciprocal action to make it reciprocal? Let's take the word to hug. If we use may, may abrazo, what does that mean? I hug. I hug myself. Is that reciprocal? No. Yes. Yeah. It's not reciprocal, right? Because it's not two people, one's giving, one's receiving, and back and forth. Yes. 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 Then you're in a whole different time. Then you're in the back. No. So, how about take? Can we use take as a reciprocal? No. No. Take a would be like, pardon you, hug yourself. Is that reciprocal? No, it's not. It's not. 
So which ones of these could we make reciprocal? No, it's yeah. insane. No, oh, it's insane. You have to have more than one person to make it reciprocal, right? Yes, yeah, because there's like, oh, well, you can't pick that level with yourself. Why is that doing the same thing? Direct logic. Uh, Okay, so let's talk about these. So, we're talking about reciprocal actions. You have to have more than one person, and you have to be giving it back and forth to one another. Um, so, if we're using the team, you can definitely give back to you. Well, I can help you. So, you can have me, and I can stand here like this. Am I hugging you back? No. So, you have to be doing it to each other, not just to someone else, because then it's not reciprocal. So, I should say, nos abrazamos. And this says what? We hug each other. Is it reciprocal? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How about they abrazan? Yeah. Is that reciprocal? Yes. Yes, because they hug each other. So do you see why these cannot be reciprocal now? Yes, yeah, because it has to have one person. If you have to have more than one person, have a reciprocal action. Exactly. Perfect. So how would I say that? Yes. So I'll take right after pronouncing. So think of reflexive. So if there's one verb that's conjugated, it goes in front. But if there's two, for example, Harrington and his his boo really want to kiss each other, right? Rock and. Then it would be they want. Then what do I put after that? Careful, because we already have one paper. They are. They want to kiss, but I'm gonna say they want to kiss each other. There you go. Does that answer your question, Asher? I use R. So, Ms. Maggie, how would we say that we help each other? Um, say, um, oh, wait. Notice I use dollars. Do you still have a card? Yep. Why do we conjugate I use almost? But don't we live in infinite of And there's only one verse. Perfect. All right, how about they write each other? Who wants to try that one? Hold on that Go for it, Ms. Meyer. Um, say, you your to write. Mm-hmm, you're about to say it. Okay, so that would be kind of your imperfect. We just want to say they write each other in the present test. Anyone want to help them? Escriben. Good, Wes. Good job, we. They escriben. Does, is each other already in there? Yeah. Yeah, with that say, right? All right, how about we talk with each other on the phone? Mm. Um... No. You want to do it, Carrington? Ah. Uh, we started halfway there with nos. Hablam, hablamos. Hablamos. Con. Por. Why, why can I say con? Because that would be with. with. Oh, you're trying to do with each other? Why doesn't he need to put the with each other? No. It's already, it's already no. implied with that nos, right? Oh, okay. Telefono. With the accent over the E. Oh, there it is. They get along well. Go for it, Courtney. It's a backup word. You can look it up. It's only three words that you need. Okay, say, because we know it's A. I have a question about the first one. Sure. Could you put a uh, con materia? Absolutely, yeah. Know. We just didn't have that in there. John, no. Good question. Is it a cover? Yeah. Yeah, give yeah, our say. So we have the say. I got all the Now we're going to conjugate your. Run. And then we need to say that they get along well. The end. Even so Perfect. Yeah, it's for everyone. Because we're really putting the SE back on, right? The say is going here in the beginning. We're just moving where it, it, it goes. So let's do we shake hands and we greet each other every question. morning. You guys do those on your own. Yeah. For that one, I thought 
Is yay bar to wear? No. Yeah, just by itself? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that would be wear well? But yay bar to say, it means to get along. Uh-huh. Oh, get along. Okay. So what if you wanted to conjugate to wear? What if you were saying? Like I wear jeans? Yeah. Yo llevo los jeans? So think about it like the word carries in tie. What does this mean to you in English? The tie you put around your neck. Tie you put around your neck. What else can a tie be? Um, when you tie your shoe. So then you can tie a knot. What else can a tie be? A tie when you win. Well, you don't well, win if it's a tie. I mean, but when two people win. Match, right? at so the that same. one word has lots of different meanings. Oh. Right? Okay. So it's kind of like. Muy bien. 